Now we're going to take a look at the ventilation shaft. This is the Braybrook Road in Great Oxenden. And to the left of me here is uh, the ventilation shaft. It's just set off in a field. It is a bridleway, so that should be okay. If I go through the gate here, there's the ventilation shaft just there. It's got to be at least 35 feet tall. And it really is quite a, quite a massive structure that stands in the middle of a field, apart from being surrounded by a few trees. So it's quite difficult to see from the road. It is kind of fenced off a little bit as well, but it has to be because this is a field full of cows. Standing here next to the ventilation shaft means that I'm literally above the... I'm standing right on top of the tunnel right now. It really is quite wide as well. It's got to be at least, uh, at least 15 foot from one side of this to the other side, I would imagine. I would also guess that this really had to be more or less in the centre of the tunnel from below because the trains and stuff actually would have gone through the tunnel in those days. It would have needed, uh, it would have needed for, the, uh, for the smoke and stuff to escape, not only from each end of the tunnel, but you would have kind of needed a little bit of leeway in the middle. Otherwise it would have just built up and clogged up and everybody would have got choked. But it really is kind of a, a really good size good sized tunnel. Thinking back to those days I wouldn't like to imagine how they would have actually made it to be really honest. What I would love to do but I can't is climb up on top of there and just have a look down but uh, that's not going to happen.